Hey, um, I sort of want to pick up a little bit on the point you were discussing spirituality wise, but given we've learned so much about your lack of excess, particularly, you know, involving drugs, at, at what point as you get older do you realise that I've got to stop this or I have to pull myself in line, particularly with your responsibility with kids as well? Well, I had to, yeah, with my, when my children came along, you know, because, uh, well, who's going to bring, you know, their, who's going to bring their kids around to play at Billy Idol's house? He's just on a crack binge, you know, so I had to really, you know, <laughs> I had to meet parents and as teachers and so um, for a while it was just as well I was killing myself anyway. You know, that's what I found out. I didn't realise, you know, all the way through the eight seventies. I actually it's not just the seventies, it's since I was twelve years old. You know, I started smoking hash when I was twelve, we took acid when I was thirteen. With turinol, secondol, uh, I don't know, micronaut acid, it went on and on and on and on and then heroin, cocaine and, weed and, weed and more drinks and booze and now and we get booze for free at the gigs. Yeah. You know, you're going to end up crazed by the 90s. I, was, I didn't realise that your body could take that much. Somebody should have been doing a study. <laughs> so, oh my God, this man was doing something. He's still alive, you know, so I think they were telling me that, basically, so, yeah, you know, I, I, I really had to think about my kids a bit, and uh, it was great because it gave me, a, it put a break, gave me a break, something to reason to stop, and to uh, get a grip, really, and um, I realised it was hurting my music, because in a way it was, it was fucking up my relationships with the people around me, one way or another, I wasn't giving all my energy to the music, and then I couldn't really help Keith Forsey, you know, that way, and you're not... You know, you brought in these people to help you, and you can't. You're not helping them. You know, so I don't know. Just for me, it's I lived. It's a long time. We did it for a long time, and uh, I'm bound to do it again at some point. I'm sure I will. Uh, I'm a bit of a binge artist. You know, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not totally clean. You know, not like that. You know, there's no way I'm ever going to do that. You know, because. Uh, but at the same time, I'm glad that I've got hold of it, and I've still got my talents. I think.